Hello everyone, this is ACH AI Akai, and we are in the ace match between Killer Plague and Darkness, um, which this is once again the Vile Gaming Network versus SC2Armory.com matchup. This is an exhibition match featuring five of the best players from each community site, and they are facing off in a series of games where basically each team has five players and uh, they play against the uh, opposing team in best of three matchups. And the first team to lose all of their players in knockout matches basically loses is the matchup so right now sc2 armory actually has a huge lead at three and oh and right now we are one and one in killer plague versus darkness matchup so this map is going to be lost temple once again a four player map and uh just in case you didn't know it looks like there was a couple of disconnects after game number two there were two disconnected games um before they were able to get this third game up and running so i don't know if that has any significance for anybody but i just figured i'd mention it but anyways this uh once again we're going to see the Pink Protoss on the left here, Killer Plague playing for Vile Gaming, and on the bottom of the map we have Darkness as the Blue Zerg here playing for SC2 Armory, and as I've mentioned in a couple of the other games, I am a community member at SC2 Armory, so I am definitely rooting for Darkness in this game, especially since I am also a Zerg player, but it looks like both players are going to be scouting pretty early here once again, and Darkness finding out exactly where Killer Plague is right off the bat, and it looks like Killer Plague is going for a uh, Forge Fast Expand type build, Although, uh, which that's what it's called in StarCraft 1. In StarCraft 2, I don't know if there's a name of it yet, but there is a, uh, it's basically a gateway fast expand, so to speak, where basically you put your first pylon and gateway out here, and then an additional gateway or cybernetic core or forge or what, whatever building you so choose to create a small choke how you're up at the top of this, uh, expansion entrance and basically you can defend that very very early on against um, zergling rushes which makes it very easy to expand but it looks like this one drone just beating away on this pylon actually managing to take away most of its shields and one zealot is getting ready to come out here so he is going to be able to take that drone out before it takes down that pylon uh, having only 10 hit points left on the shield and darkness apparently was hoping that he could get that pylon kill with just one drone on it um, but anyways it looks like there is one zealot out on the map he is going to be moving across the map trying to put some pressure on darkness right now and it looks like darkness does not have any zerglings out as of yet he has a spawning pool though so we'll take a look at the production overlay here we can see that he is producing two zerglings um, and he is not producing a queen yet which is kind of curious I'm not sure why he's not producing a queen yet that is actually very surprising here and with one zealot moving up into his base um, one zealot can very easily take on two zerglings so I'm not sure this may this may actually cost him very very dearly if he does not manage to get more zerglings out here very quickly which we can see that there are four more building but with the help of one probe here uh, this zealot will probably be able to hold off all four of those zerglings without any problems because one zealot can in and of itself take on four zerglings and there's an another zealot moving in right now for killer plague so killer plague has two zealots in darkness's base very early in this game and finally a queen started for the zerg player but this may be too late as he only has two zerglings which are just now going down four more warping in or four more morphing in rather right now but um only two coming out at a time and a lot of these drones half of the drone line it looks like is off of the mineral line and he is trying to get us around on these zealots although these zealots are just so powerful against zerglings and drones i don't think it's going to matter almost managing to take down one zealot but there is one more zealot coming into the mix darkness looks like he is in very bad shape and he is going to gg so it looks like killer plague finally breathing some life into vile gaming taking his first matchup for his community site and it looks like the matchup between the two gaming sites is going to be three to one of course sc2 armory is currently leading and uh vile gaming at a two game deficit right now but we'll see if they're able to come back and rally off of that great performance from uh, Killer Plague, he was able to knock Darkness out, which as I had mentioned, Darkness did very well in the uh, Wrath of the Zell Naga tournament. So he is definitely a pretty good player, and it looks like Killer Plague is as well. Let's move on to the next matchup and see how round one finishes up. GG.